Today, IMS processes transactions, in fact, billions of transactions per day, that move your money, file your claims, track your reservations, deliver your packages, build your cars, and so much more. With more mo mobiles than humans in a quarter of the world and social networks, apps drive more successful business outcomes. In today's mobile era, over 10 billion devices access information. Businesses are challenged with seamlessly integrating new mobile services with existing assets. Neither the systems of engagement nor the systems of record work in isolation. They work together to deliver more value. System of record integration is easier than ever with IMS Mobile Feature Pack and WebSphere Liberty ZOS Connect. There is no charge for ZOS Connect. It is supplied as part of a license entitlement to WazOS, Kix, or IMS. ZOS Connect simplifies mobile connectivity to ZOS applications and data. Typically, development and administration of IMS has been done through the use of ISPF green screens, but IMS now has two state-of-the-art GUI solutions to help your DBAs, system programmers, and developers. IBM Management Console is one such solution, and if you're concerned about generating that additional workload, you don't have to. You can now take advantage of mobile workload pricing and achieve up to 60% reduction on incremental growth generated by mobile transactions. Our intent is to open up our interfaces to the mobile world. This demo will introduce you to a few of our IMS developers as they discuss how easy it was to create a mobile app and demonstrate its value. I'm here with three IMS developers who just worked on the IMS Management Console. And this is the mobile edition, you would say? It's the IMS, yeah, it's the mobile edition that coordinates with management, IMS Management Console. And let's um, introduce each other. Let's go from Demetrius this way. I am Demetrius. Um, I lead the Management Console for IMS. My name is Miguel, and I am a co here under Dwayne Richardson. My name is Richard Antico, and I work in QA Performance. All right. Um, so what are we looking at? So, okay. So what we did is we took uh, we took a few weeks to actually try to coordinate this mobile feature um, along with our management council that we offer today, and we focused on one path, the transaction path. And in doing so, we used a few technologies to do this. Uh, we, we it's basically uh, we use some REST services. Uh, we use a JSON wire protocol, and we use Worklight. And this is all done within a couple of weeks. And if you guys want to go ahead and start the application and talk about it. Okay. So uh, before we begin, we, we can see that uh, we have two buttons in the main page. This is the the settings button takes you to the settings view where you can set whether you want to go with uh, real t real life data or the static mode. And, and then you can also set the number of transactions that you want to display. Um, so we're going to go with the live data. So we turn on the switch here. And it tells you that you were successfully connected. And then we're going to leave the maximum transaction to 10. And then we're going to go back to the home page. Now we can go directly to the six plexus view by clicking this the sysplexes button and then we will see the environments there. Now you remember sysplex is basically your topology and your enterprise topology and this one here will focus on EC03127. Okay and if we want to drill down we'll be able to see the IMX the IMS plexus. Would you like to add one? Yeah, I mean, currently this system has two IMS plexes in it, uh, and if you can drill into plex one, you'll see that it has two IMSs, uh -huh. IMS one and IMS two. Um, if you continue drilling in, here you'll see that the resources that currently our management console supports are these four resources, and we chose to support one for the mobile app, which is transactions. So you, you'll drill into transactions now. Great. So now it's loading the data. So we chose to show 10 transactions at a time. And if you can find, if you can drill into like uh, EMHTX2, 
Oh, we don't, it's not displaying here. Um, well, you could choose choose Wait. one of the transactions. And hopefully, there's enough data about it. Okay, so we're gonna choose this one. So this one only has the transactions and the program. But if you want to see, you want to display the databases. Yeah. So why don't we go back and. Uh, okay. So if if you click on this one, it will take you back to the six the six places view, and then from there you can go back home and then do the settings so we can switch to static mode. That way we'll be able to get another environment that has more, or another transaction that has more resources. Yeah, so go ahead and try to show them what. Yeah, so, we go here. Transactions. Where, oh yeah, here it is. So this one is more interesting. So this one shows the transactions, writing code, and programs, databases. And if you drill down on databases, you can see the ones, the, all the databases, and also the, the status of the databases. Like, this one is upline. And and one is. You should be able to drill actually into these. Oh, no, no, not to the oh, database. Oh, we're you, you can drill down to the transactions. And oh, nice. So you can see where this might be useful in an event that you do have a transaction that is reporting the reporting reported to have an error, and as you notice when we clicked on it, the status was green. Um, when we took we drilled into the resources a little bit more, you saw that the database was actually the problem behind the transaction. Uh, so something like this uh, provides a quick glance. Uh, you know, you can just see statuses by color, and that you can also drill down into the program properties and see more information. And uh, how long did it take you, Richard, to develop the, the Worklight version of this, uh, would you say? say a week. Uh, week. Uh, so you know, in a week's time, we, we had basically several REST services, I think about eight or nine REST services. Um, and within you know just under a week, uh, the team was able to put together a mobile app using Worklight um, and deploy it to uh, Android. And it's pretty fast. It's, you know, it comes to market pretty quickly.